What's up guys, it's Chase from Chase's Workshop and in this video we're going to get started on the guitar build I've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, I've got my three piece otter blank here that I'm going to be using to uh, build this guitar out of and I've decided to go with the Stratocaster body. Um, I've built a lot of Telecasters and um, I like the Telecasters but I think we need to do a Stratocaster and I want to do the tremolo and um, all the different stuff with it too. I want it to be just like a, a Strat. Um, first time I've ever done one of these and um, I'm just wanting to experiment with it. I'm wanting to do at least one humbucker, if not two. I might put another humbucker up top because um, that way I'm wanting to build some humbuckers in the future and it'd be nice to have a, another guitar I can put them into once I build them. Now I made this template on my CNC machine um, and I've got a few other templates that I made with it when I put it all together. This is the uh, control, control cavity and the tremolo um, template and then it's, of course it's got the uh, input jack spot here but this one right here to where once I put this thing together I can I can uh, put the neck on here I just got a line to where I, I put I cut this out so I can align it better once I get it all together to where the neck's gonna go now the neck just slides right into that spot when I made this template I made the uh, I made the neck cavity here about 15,000 smaller than the, the neck itself. That's to account for finishes and all that good stuff. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to be using the uh, painter's tape and um, super glue technique here to get this thing stuck on here. So here we go. <laughs> guys so since I've got this pretty much roughed out now um, it's still not totally flat so my next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece here that I made and basically all I did was I took some uh, 80 grit sandpaper 
and super glued it to this flat board here to where I can take it and just work it back and forth and get it to flatten this piece out. So that's what we're going to do next. <laughs> Okay, so if you can see it, I'm hoping you can. Um, I know my lighting's probably not the greatest in the world. Let me dim it down a little bit. But as you can tell here, what, what was happening is I got a little bit off on my cut over here. And so when I was sanding flat with, uh, with what I had on here, I was taking off too much on this edge. So now I've kind of transitioned and instead of having this piece all the way angled like that I kind of angled it just a little bit and so I'm, I'm kind of taking off more on this edge instead of this edge because I didn't want to get down too too thin right here on my on my back so now you can tell I don't know if you can see it or not but I've got uh, pencil marks all the way around this side I got a little bit right here but all this is flat right here so now I'm just trying to work this whole part right here down to uh, take out all of this right here so that's where I'm at, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing it sideways like this, getting it flat, and then just working it back and forth. So as you can tell now, I'm, I'm still working this down to this edge right here, and you can see I'm flattened out right here a little bit. And you can see where the uh, sawdust is building up. That's usually the indicator of where that line is. So that line kind of goes, the flatness is right around through here. And I've still got just a little bit right here that's uh, not totally flat. So all this is working down to that okay so as you can tell now I've got all this flat here I've still got just a little bit of a spot right here we can see where the sawdust is building up um, this it turned out I guess when I cut this I cut it too much of an angle here and not enough here and so this part was lower than this and it just kind of it kind of I have I've had to flatten this out to try to get this flat and I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this all the way to the edge but I want to get it close enough to where when I do my round over on this edge that it'll take that out. So uh, the only, really the only biggest thing is is that this this uh, part's a little more more pronounced than a, than a normal strap. But I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. It might be something different that might be cool. I don't know. But we're going to keep going with it and I'm going to try to get this down as much as I can and try to get this as uh, flat as possible. Okay, as you can tell here, hoping you can see it, I got one little spot right here, but I think that once I do this kind of, kind of blend this into the side, that I'll get rid of that. So I'm gonna leave that like it is. I've, I've taken this down as far as I want to. Um, and you saw me do just a second ago, is I just kind of took this and I kind of, I'm kind of blending that hard line into the car body. Now once I sand it, start sanding it with the, sander it'll it'll blend a lot more so i don't want to do too much right there right now but anyways that's basically it um way to check this too once you get done you can just take a straight edge and go right over the top of it and it should be good let me undo this thing where i can show it to you okay so the problem i was having is when i first started cutting this guy i was got lower right here than i was over here and when I started trying to flatten this out, this part right here was way lower than any of this. So I had to restart my angle at a different angle to smooth it out. And by doing that, I moved this this line right here of the where the uh, contour is moved in 
to the guitar more, which I don't think is that big of a deal. I think it looks pretty good, actually. I'll just do it from all different angles to where just you can see how, see if it's good and straight. Now, as you can tell right there, it's the part I was talking about. So I'm still, you see that gap right there? That's how much I'm off on that edge right there. From about there to there. Now, originally, I did my cut right here. So I had to sand all the way back to here to get it to to level out. So that, that, that was a little mistake, but oh well. So as you can tell now, I've, I've got the scraper out, and this one's very dull. It's not sharp at all, but uh, I kind of use it that way just because I want to take off as little as possible and basically just scrape the top really fine. So I'm just getting a little bit off, but it's uh, it's getting it good and flat and almost as good as if you sanded it. Now one trick to using one of these is um, you kind of don't want to go up this way when you're going this way because you're kind of you're kind of ripping the grain out whereas when you go this way you're kind of you're going with the grain kind of so as they're going down it's a lot smoother once you try to go up it it's a lot rough so you come over here and start on this side and work down and then just constantly making sure going back and putting the pencil marks on here to where you can see once you get perfectly flat the one thing about this right here i've done one of these before and if this is off any you might not see it right now but as soon as you put any kind of clear coat or any kind of paint on it you'll see it and it'll stand out like a sore thumb and you'll see waves in here so just make sure you spend a lot of time on this all right now what i've got is i've got my half inch roundover bit in here and i've got it leveled pretty close to flush uh, mine's a little bit off on one side and i don't know why but so i know if i keep it pretty much on this side, I'll be fine. I'm gonna wrap this all the way around to about right in here somewhere. I don't wanna go all the way to this edge. And then I, I wanna start this one out in here and bring it around this way. And I'm just gonna get it as close to this edge right here as I can on this part. Same thing here, I'm just trying to keep it uh, close. Cause I don't wanna go run all the way into it cause I might mess something up. So that's what we're gonna do here. <laughs> Well, 
Well, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I don't know if you could see or not in the video, but basically what I was doing was is I was taking uh, this bit, and instead of just plunging it straight into the wood on the sides, I would kind of just angle it in there. I mean, not angle it, but bring it in real slightly and just take off a little bit and then kind of go in once I've taken off a pretty good bit of it and then round the rest of it off. And just basically that just helped keep from getting any chip out or anything like that in it. Now, um, that's probably, this is going to be it for this video. Um, I, this one's probably going to be close to 20 minutes already anyways. So um, the next video, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this contoured into the guitar and the back contour into that and get this thing finished. And we'll probably put a coat of um, sanding sealer on here after we get all that done and get it good and smooth. And then I've got to pick out a color. So um, I don't know. I mean, then we're going to probably start on the neck and get this part here done before we do any of that kind of stuff so guys i hope you enjoyed the video um if you have any questions or comments about any of this stuff just leave them below guys if you like the video give me a like and if you liked it please subscribe thanks for watching